Have you ever wondered how companies raise capital? There are several ways to do this, and one of them is through a process known as a rights issue. This is a method that targets existing shareholders, offering them an opportunity to increase their stake in the company. So what exactly is a rights issue? Picture it as an invitation from a company to its current shareholders, offering them the chance to purchase additional shares. And here's the best part. These shares come at a discounted price. These additional shares come with rights, which are options given to shareholders to buy these shares within a specific time frame, but not an obligation. The rights issue comes with several key features. First, the shares on offer are typically priced lower than the current market price. This is done to encourage existing shareholders to buy these shares and increase their stake in the company. Secondly, the number of rights a shareholder receives is proportional to their existing holdings. This means that the more shares you have, the more rights you receive. Last but not least, shareholders have the option to exercise their rights and buy the new shares, sell their rights to other investors, or simply do nothing. So, why would a company issue rights? The main reason is to raise capital. This could be for a variety of reasons, such as funding new projects, paying off debt, or financing expansion. Another reason is to maintain the ownership structure. By offering rights to existing shareholders, the company gives them the chance to maintain their percentage of ownership, even when new shares are issued. However, there are a few things to consider with rights issues. The first is dilution. When new shares are issued, the ownership stake of existing shareholders can be diluted, meaning they own a smaller percentage of the company. Yet if the company's growth potential is strong, this dilution can be offset by the future appreciation of the stock price. Another consideration is the impact on the stock price. Rights issues can sometimes lead to a short-term dip in the stock price as more shares become available. But in the long run, successful capital raising can benefit the company and ultimately the stock price. As a shareholder, it's essential to carefully analyze the rights issue before making a decision. Look at the discounted price, consider your faith in the company's future, and think about your overall investment strategy. Consulting with a financial advisor can also be beneficial in navigating rights issues and making choices that align with your financial goals. By understanding rights issues and their implications, you can make informed investment decisions and potentially use them to deepen your investment in companies you believe in. This knowledge can be a powerful tool in your investment arsenal, helping you navigate the complex world of finance.